There are two misconceptions when it comes to financial independence and retiring early. Many people think when you retire early, you just sit around wasting your life away doing nothing. And that couldn't be further from the truth. You actually get to choose what you want to do with your life. And the other misconception is that you just have an all day, every day vacation. Now, I will tell you this. If you look at financial independence as an all day, every day vacation, you will become very bored very quickly and you will go broke. Those two misconceptions are extremes. Now, what financial independence and retiring early actually does is give you the freedom to choose what you want to pursue with your time and the experiences you want to have. And at times, those experiences do include vacations, but those vacations come with a different agenda. Hi, I'm Nadia, one half of the Wealth Twins. And on this channel, we teach you financial literacy and how to pursue financial independence. I retired over 10 years ago and I hope to help you do the same. So let's jump into it. Now, before reaching financial independence and retiring early, my two biggest barriers to traveling were, like most people, financial constraints and limited vacation days. I would catch myself daydreaming about taking an extended vacation to the French countryside or doing something like eat, pray, love, but I never had enough time off and I depended on a paycheck. I remember having to negotiate with my coworkers at the beginning of the year about what days we would take off and how impossible it was for me to plan what I wanted to do with those days. When I first started my career, I only had two weeks of vacation and then that climbed up to four weeks, but it took a while to get there. And that's common for most Americans. Now I will tell you, I made the most of those four weeks. I would travel as much as I could within seven days or 10 days if I added a weekend and see as much of a country or travel around the world as much as I could within that time frame, which often left me exhausted and wanted to stay longer. Even though I was exhausted, what traveling did do was give me a new perspective on the world and show me there was a whole world of people who did not care what I did for a living, who I worked for, and they seemed much happier with their simpler lives than I did. When it came to vacations before I reached financial independence and retired early, I used those vacations as ways to escape my job and the stress that I had from it. Now I use vacations as a way to immerse myself in the culture, continuously learn, and see different lifestyles around the world as people age so I can see if that's a place I would like to move to as I get older. Currently, I'm traveling for a few weeks in France, sans enfant, to work on my French and see if I want to move here permanently in the next 10 to 15 years. The way I'm able to spend several weeks in a different country and immerse myself in the culture is because of passive income, low expenses, and advanced planning. Now, despite what many people believe, it's okay to have a source of income come in if you retire early. That source of income allows you to not have to tap your savings or your investments too early. That source of income for me is passive income. I don't have to spend time working for that income to come in in order to help me sustain myself as I stay abroad for several weeks. Depending on your circumstances, you can probably do the same thing quicker than you think. If I were to add up everything, it's actually cheaper for me to spend several weeks in France than it is to spend the same amount of time in New York City. I understand that traveling for long periods of time can seem risky, especially if you're looking to retire early. Now, if you have that feeling, I suggest you create a travel fund along with your early retirement planning so that you can do the same. I also suggest that you take your vacation in time blocks instead of a year or two years like that. It's better to take three to four weeks and spend those on vacation rather than long periods of time. It allows you to be able to plan more, especially when it comes to expenses. It's a lot harder to plan for a year in another country than it is to plan three or four weeks in that country. Before I move on, if you have a place that you want me to visit, put it in the comment below. I love hearing what you guys think would be great places to move and I wanna see if that lifestyle is something I wanna do as I age. Let's help each other out. Put comments down there because I'm sure there's places that we haven't thought about that may be great substitutes, especially if we're looking to move outside of America as we get older. To make things easier when I travel abroad, I make sure I plan out things way ahead of time. Like I make sure I rent a car to give me a lot of flexibility. And when I'm in Europe, that car is an automatic car. In France, most of the cars they drive here are stick. I'm not trying to add the stress of driving stick, especially if it's a country I'm not familiar with driving in. So I make sure that I'm renting an automatic car to lower that stress. I also make sure that I bring certain cards with me in order to make sure I have access to my money. 
One of those cards is my Charles Schwab debit card. If you haven't seen it, I'll put a video in the cards so you can see that video and why that is a card that I like to travel with. I don't pay foreign transaction fees and that card is accepted all over. I also make sure I use credit cards that are good for traveling too. This makes it a lot easier to not have to worry about my finances when I'm abroad and I usually don't have to take out cash. Just make sure you call your credit card and your debit card companies to make sure you let them know that you're traveling abroad because you don't want to run into your card being blocked because they don't know that you left the country. That has happened to me before so don't let it happen to you. Just give them a call or put it online and let them know that you're traveling. I also make sure that I stay flexible in my planning and adapt to change. It's very easy for you to become comfortable in your regular routine so when you're traveling you have to make sure you're able to adapt. I put myself in uncomfortable situations so that I can be as independent as possible and I'm open to meeting new people. This allows me to not only travel but enjoy the experience and immerse myself in the culture and the country as I'm there. If you're interested in learning how to manage your money in order for you to grow your wealth so you can reach financial independence, check out our Wealth Pack. It's our free newsletter where we teach you how to manage your money and build your wealth so that you can reach financial freedom and eventually financial dependence. It's free to join and the link is in the description below. And if you want to know what it's really like to retire early besides managing your money, check out this video right here where I discuss the 10 uncomfortable truths when it comes to retiring early. Now I'm off to go enjoy the weather and I hope to see you in the next video.